Hi, it's May 13th. I'm Mike Stanton, and this is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm joined by Morgan Fahey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Thanks for being here, Morgan. Hey, Mike. Um, so another week of selling pressure really across the fixed income markets. We saw uh, yields on municipal market data as uh, benchmark curve move higher on the week. We also saw another $2 billion plus of outflows from municipal bond mutual funds. That was uh, an increase after last week's relatively easy uh, $1 billion of outflows. And yet the new issue market was somewhat more active this week. Um, what are you hearing in terms of market uh, tone from uh, participants you talked to? Definitely. So I would say definitely we've continued to see um, sell pressure in the market. We continued to see an elevated um, bid wanted number this week. And obviously the fund flows are continuing um, to be negative there. But we did have a pretty big pickup in the new issue calendar this week from last week, especially that was very muted. Um, and BAM had a pretty busy week as well, pricing about 850 million across 20 transactions um, in 13 states. Um, so just a couple of deals to highlight from this week, 660 million DASNY deal, the dormitory authority of the state of New York, which was priced by um, Roosevelt and Cross, 25 million city of Fort Wayne, Allen County, water and sewer utility deal for the state of Indiana, bought by Huntington, and 22 million Marietta Financing Authority in California, which was priced by Stiefel. And then as you look to next week, Another busy. Before we go on to next week, let me just interrupt you for a second. If anybody uh, in among our viewers is interested in more information about that DASNY transaction, uh, we have a Credit Insights video specifically about that that we posted on our website this week. Kevin Roberts, who's a VP in our East Region Public Finance Group, walked through that. It's a really interesting transaction because it's a pooled transaction of more than 60 school districts across New York State. Uh, they work with DASNY to cut on uh, issuance costs as well as uh, because of some of the uh, intricacies of the New York State uh, capital aid. Uh, uh, reimbursement program. But that was a really successful transaction, both for VAM as, as well as those individual districts. And uh, you can check out more on our YouTube page. Now I'll let you go ahead and talk about next week. So moving towards next week, um, it looks like supply is going to be um, pretty active again. So it should be about seven and a half billion as of right now, um, which is about right in line with the year-to-date kind of average weekly numbers. Uh, but one huge transaction that's coming next week is the Illinois Geo deal that is about 1.8 billion, and that's going to be pricing with City. But we should have a pretty busy week here at BAM. It looks like we'll be pricing about 500 million, and just a few deals that we're going to be looking out for next week would be the 150 million Arizona sports deal that RBC is bringing, 150 million Vista USD San Diego County deal that Stiefel is bringing a $82 million Fort Zumwalt School District in Missouri that Stiefel's also bringing, and then um, about a $50 million City of Mesa, Arizona deal that Piper is bringing. So a lot of activity here next week, um, and it should be interesting to see how the market continues to digest another you know, busy primary market with the continued sell pressure that we're seeing. And our underwriters have been active uh, on uh, producing credit tax videos about those upcoming transactions as well. The uh, Arizona Sports Facilities Authority, as well as um, the uh, uh, Vista and the Fort Zumwalt transactions were both highlighted in Credit Insights videos. Uh, you can go to our YouTube page and, and learn more about them there. Well, thanks for your time this week, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Great. Thanks.